What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a heart's desire for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your third reading this week. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your energy wave or being enlightened during your energy wave this week. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? We are now going into your reading, as y'all know how these go by now. We're going to look at your present, past, and future placements. Starting with the Mystic Mondays deck, we'll turn over the bottom of the deck and see what the final outcome will be, and then we'll use the Muse Tarot to clarify, okay? One from the top, one directly from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. Okay. Let's see what you have, Scorpio. You have the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Fool. Okay. King of Swords is starting off your present placement. Okay. Knight of Swords energy for you, Scorpio is presently i feel as though you guys are kind of as his sword is sticking down you are maturing um at this time like i said um at the beginning you are possibly hopefully enjoying or receiving some form of enlightenment or awakening this week okay you are in this stance of maturing and possibly letting people or laying down the law if you will um with this knight of swords energy your communications are very direct your communications um may be hurtful to some people however some things that have been bottled up with inside you must be released and so you are now communicating very directly you are no longer hiding how you feel you are letting people know what the deal is okay with this knight of swords energy starting you off in your present placement in the past placement you have the lovers here okay possibly a relationship um in the past energy either someone very close to you or maybe something ended but we won't know until the clarifiers come out however um in the past there was some relationship i feel that maybe you have been reflecting on um, from your past, um, possibly could have been something a little bit um, emotional or hard to deal with, um, or possibly in the past you are, were thinking of someone um, reminiscent or reminiscing on a relationship, okay? Um, like I said, it's hard to tell because we haven't did the clarifiers yet. And again, Scorpio's being very private, um, even though presently there's two different forms of or two different types of Scorpios or they consider privacy for certain things. When it comes to matters of the heart, they're usually very private. When it comes to letting people know what they want or demand from people, they are usually in a king of swords type of energy okay and usually are are not um afraid to tell people what they think but as far as how they feel it is usually very private okay lastly in the future placement we have the fool here we have the fool um in the future placement i feel as though you guys will be looking to maybe start anew okay taking a leap of faith usually is what the fool stands for okay so in the future you could be taking a chance on something okay and putting either your heart out there or whatever else you could be uh dealing with right now okay looking to start anew with that being said at the bottom of the deck for the final outcome is the wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune very good energy here okay with these two coming right behind each other okay you taking that leap of faith starting a new 
and taking that that risk okay will lead to very good fortune okay as with the wheel of fortune it usually means that there is change occurring as it goes counterclockwise not clockwise but counterclockwise so possibly uh turning back um the hands of time to correct some things or go back and reevaluate things but it will definitely pay off okay scorpio so with that being said let's go into the muse where for some reason i feel as though we need to shuffle the muse so some energy possibly has shifted while we started on your reading so i'm gonna go ahead and just reshuffle these right now We have one more shuffle and then we'll cut and then we'll go ahead and pull your cards okay let's cut three times okay Let's see what we have. One for the from the top for the King of Swords, one directly from the bottom for the lovers, and one directly from the middle, energetically from the middle for the full. And then we will turn the bottom of the deck over to clarify the wheel of fortune. Okay? So we have the Ten of Emotions. Ten of Emotions, clarifying the King of Swords, your present placement, okay? Ten of Emotions is the Ten of Cups, okay? Um, in regular tarot. And so presently, you are primarily, like I said, laying down the law with this Ten of Emotions. You are possibly maybe not telling everyone but possibly just telling yourself having a mature conversation with yourself about what it is that you want you want this wish fulfillment if you will okay with this 10 of emotions okay um followed by the wheel of fortune is very good and positive energy scorpio which is very nice to see after dealing with your general and intimacy reading so this is somewhat of a change for you okay um really diving deep into what it is that you want out of life um out of the people around you um kind of doing maybe some inner child healing some lower chakra work as far as between the solar plexus and sacral chakras okay um and really diving deep into maybe that inner child and the things that you wanted um as a child and who you are now as an adult and if those wants and dreams are still valid um and maybe changing some of those wants to match who you are now okay um like i said very good energy you're a water sign, so you're allowing those feelings and emotions to flow. And like I said, for some of you with this Knight of Swords energy, you are laying down the law of telling people exactly not just what you think, but how you feel, okay? But within limitations, okay? You are being very cryptic uh, with people, but still direct where they can kind of read in between the lines, okay? Let's move on. We have the Six of Emotions, Six of Emotions, which is Cups energy again, clarifying the lovers, okay? Um, Six of Cups in regular tarot shows two people um, sharing uh, one cup being passed to someone else, okay? And so in the past, you may have had someone like that where it was a very um maybe it was a friendship budding into something else possibly for you scorpio or just a good friend um 
that felt like it could be more than that to you, okay? Or in the past, maybe you wanted a relationship that was very am amicable in sharing how you felt about one another or maybe one person was giving more than the other, okay? And so, um, again, like in the beginning, I feel like you are or were reflecting on this situation um, and wanting to revisit it, okay? But you want that, maybe in the past, you thought of a, a love like that, starting off as friends and turning into something more, um, as there was a very equal give and take between the two of you, okay? And so kind of wanting that in the past for maybe your upcoming relationship or just for a base of a relationship to start from, okay? Um, not gonna deal with that too long, but that's the gist of what I'm feeling, okay? Lastly, we have the nine of materials, the nine of materials clarifying the fool here okay so future placement with these two cards um possibly starting over to give yourself some space and time with the nine of materials is nine of pentacles and regular tarot you are pretty much at a point where you see value in yourself um, you know what you deserve and what you need in life. Um, and that may go for many different avenues. It doesn't have to be specifically in reference to relationships. It could be in reference to your career. Um, you're very stable within yourself and you're ready to start anew, um, from something in the past. Okay. Um, and where you are presently. Okay. Um, you know what your focus needs to be and where your focus doesn't need to be. Okay, so right now you are pretty much free to do as you choose and as you please. And I think that is something that you are going to enjoy um, doing for quite some time. Okay, so with that being said, let's go in to the bottom of the deck to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Voices, the Queen of Voices clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So Queen of Voices is actually the Queen of Swords in this deck, okay? Um, with that being said, I feel like we have the King of Swords here starting off and now ending with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Voices, okay? And she's actually looking this way, okay? Um, there is possibly going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation um, between you and someone else, okay? Both of you are able to have a mature conversation on where you are or what you could or could not be, okay? Um, possibly you needing more time or space to do you as you're not ready for something, you know, really stable or maybe in the past you were not ready um, for a relationship for some of you. And so there is this communication with this queen of voices here about things changing or what has changed okay um maybe within this future placement which could be also mixed in with your current energy of you basically saying you needed time to match this person's energy um as you honestly could tell yourself um, personally and in private that you were not ready for something yet and so you chose to go a different path you needed uh, some time and so that is possibly what you could 
be talking about with this person, okay? Um, for others of you, it could just be a means to an end eventually, um, that you are too different from someone and you still need more time um, for things to level out to where you are ready or just ready to part ways, okay? So with that being said, and that's not for all of you, and get it and get in where you fit in. Again, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go into the Heart Oracle. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle here. We have two more shuffles. Scorpio, your bottom card here is number four, open up. Number four, open up, okay? Um, it's a red border here. I feel like from this card, it's saying, you know, just that additional push as far as the final decision is concerned um, is to open up your heart space, okay? Open up to the possibilities of something that could be amazing for you as far as maybe someone who you did not think you could fall for as far as this past energy is concerned, okay? Um, and really just truly being honest, not just with yourself, but with the person in your thoughts, okay? So, Give me a moment here. Page 83 is the passage we're going to go to. 83 equaling out to 11, which is enlightenment again, which equals out to 2. Looking at what you want, not what you don't want. Okay. Let's get into this here. So the key words for open up are withdrawal, blocks, control, and release. Sometimes past sorrows cause you to withdraw, both from your emotions and from other people, as a way of preventing further pain. However, this closing up or shutting down prevents a free flow of energy from, from in to you, interfering with the ability of the universe to fulfill your desires. When this card appears, it suggests that you may have blocked or closed off your energy field in some way. Have you let sadness or fear prevent you from moving forward into more satisfying, loving relationships? Release this blocking energy by working with affirmations, prayers, and your spirit guides. The more you open up your energy field, the sooner you will feel you will receive what you desire. Also, watch out for the need to control. For relationships to thrive, the energy must be free flowing. Everyone must have the right to self-expression. When you open yourself up, you allow your relationships to grow and evolve. Okay? This is almost memory mem memory <laughs> mirroring. Uh, Libra's reading as Libra's uh, power of surrender message was about relinquishing control as well. So you may want to refer to that Libra reading if you know your birth chart. You may have Libra in your chart or maybe you have um, a Libra around you or maybe your person has Libra in their chart as well. They don't have to be, but um, it doesn't hurt to get a more thorough reading by looking at another placement in your birth chart, okay? Primarily your sun, moon, and Venus, okay? Um, also, seventh house might be um, a good placement for you to watch as well, okay? So, that being said, we're going to go into the 
Tower of Surrender for your last message of support and advice. One more shuffle. And we're going to cut three times with the Power of Surrender. Okay. Scorpio, your final advice and support is surrender your ego. Surrender your ego, Scorpio. Okay. It says cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Okay. I will read that again. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Okay? That is your power of surrender message. Okay? So basically, you know, try and humble yourself a bit, Scorpio. Again, if you have still a little bit of slight rage, as we saw at the beginning of the week for you in your general read, okay, if you have not seen it yet. Um, there are people around you that, that love you. Obviously, someone in your midst loves you and cares for you a lot, okay? And you may have changed towards them based off of something that was not their fault at all. They did not change on you. They still... Um, provided you with as much love and care and nurturing as they possibly could, okay, um, along with maybe some others around you, and you kind of changed on them, um, basing it on the fact that you felt as though you could handle things on your own, okay, um, and really became this King of Swords energy, just a little bit cutthroat, um, where, like I said, your, your words hurt, um, Scorpio, you do have a tendency of doing that to people, um, sometimes belittling them, okay? And so as if you are superior to everyone else, and when in all actuality, you have the deepest insecurities of anyone, okay? With you being such a dark sign, okay? Usually those that try to overpower others are the, the ones that have the most insecurities, okay? Okay. So with that being said, I need you to take that into consideration as we keep moving forward through this week. You have two readings left, a word from the ancestors and tap into the souls. And I can only imagine that it's going to get a lot deeper as we get towards the end of the week. So until then, Scorpios, peace.